Hello friends, today I'm going to show you uh, how to get the TensorBoard graph in your TensorFlow operations. So uh, I have installed an Anaconda Python version and I also installed a TensorFlow library. So to get to know how to install Anaconda and how to install TensorFlow library in Anaconda environment, you can um, check out my previous video and you can also find the link below in the description. So uh, what is Anaconda? Anaconda is a free and open source Python distribution for data science and machine learning. So it has its own importance and benefits. Okay, so uh, make sure that you have installed the TensorFlow library and uh, open the Anaconda navigator. Once you open the navigator, you can see all your uh, Anaconda environment in this drop down box. So I'm going to use my TensorFlow virtual environment where, where I have installed a TensorFlow and other libraries, like all my required libraries. In Anaconda Navigator, you're going to see there is a notebook and uh, Jupyter Lab and Spider and R student, all these things, right? But uh, I'm going to use uh, Jupyter Notebook for like all the coding part, right? So let's uh, launch the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, here's a Jupyter Notebook. Let's go to the desktop and create one uh, Python 3 Notebook. Name this Python 3 Notebook as a TensorBore Graph 1. Because I already have one file named TensorBore Graph, right? So I'm going to put it 1. Okay. So what is TensorBoard? Like TensorFlow, TensorFlow uses a data flow graph to represent your operations. In terms of dependencies, all the operations are like connected to each other, right? And all the nodes in the graph are known as the tensors. So basically whatever operations you are doing in TensorFlow, you can look it in, in a graphical representation using a TensorBoard graph. So uh, I'm not going to make that complex uh, uh, TensorFlow operations, but I'm going to make a very simple uh, TensorFlow operation just to analyze our graphical representations. So let's start with it. Let's um, import TensorFlow library. OK. So in TensorFlow library, uh, you use a placeholder to define a variable um, or kind of a vector, right? So uh, here uh, I'm planning to add two numbers and need to like want to analyze these two addition operations in the TensorFlow graph. So I'm going to use uh, two variables named x and y. Placeholder. Here I'm going to put the uh, TensorFlow data type. So you have different different data types options. Here's like TensorFlow uh, integer, TensorFlow float 32, TensorFlow 30, uh, float 3064, and TensorFlow boolean or TensorFlow string or whatever you want, right? So there are different different uh, data types. So to define a placeholder, you, you need to uh, put this function TensorFlow dot uh, placeholder where you define your uh, your variables uh, data type and a name also. So I'm gonna just put name x. I'll also define one more uh, variable that's uh, y. Sorry my bad, it's placeholder. tf.flow32 and I'm gonna name it as uh, y. So I've defined two variables, and these two variables are t actually tensors in um, real life. Let's let us let, let, let's check um, what is this. Let's me let me print uh, one of the variable, and let's see what happened. See here you can see it's a uh, one tensor I have defined, and didn't assign any value, so it's a zero, and with a data type of float thirty two, right? So uh, this is how you define a uh, tensor in TensorFlow. Let me define an operation now. Let me uh, make one add operations. 
and I'm gonna use tensor uh, tf dot add for addition operations. These two variables need to add, and I'm gonna name it uh, as addition, right? So this is one more tensor I've defined. You can also check this is not operation has been executed. This is one tensor that has been defined in the TensorFlow, right? So I didn't do any kind of operations. I just define an operation. I just define a variables, right? So uh, in TensorFlow, whatever operations you need to execute, you need to open a session for this. So yeah, let me open a session for TensorFlow to run my operation. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, assign all the values in the result variable. So I'm gonna name it result and I'm gonna run this session by putting test.run and what operation I need to do is addition. So I'm gonna just put this operation, whatever operation I need to do. And uh, okay, so you can see that I didn't assign any kind of values to the variables X and Y. So uh, I need to assign values before all the operations happen, right? So I'm gonna assign a value of X and Y here by using this I'm going to um, assign all the values, um, all the values in the vector form. So let me put a vector. It's a float. So let me put a random values, 2.5 and 4.9, right? Okay. Um, let me put the val uh, values for y is uh, it's like 1.6 or 2.5, and uh, it's uh, 1.7, right? So uh, let's print the result. Okay, here you can see it's like 1.4 plus 1.6 is 3, 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5, and 4.9 plus 1.7 is 6.6, .6, right? So uh, I'm able to get the result. So the operations went perfectly. To get the graph, to, to get the graphical representation in the tensor board, I need to write a file a summary file for my operations so that TensorBoard can read and execute all the summaries into the form of graphical representation so we can look at the graph right so let me uh, write a summary file okay so he, this is the this is an important part comes here um, you need to give a destination path of your file the one file you are writing right now and uh, to save somewhere in your uh, computer right so uh, I'm gonna use a temporary folder because uh, that folder I always clean like in 10 to 15 days so I don't need this graph anymore I'm just giving an explanation and this that's an example right so uh, let me give you a path here it's tam and Let's define this is uh, addition tutorial, right? Okay, and what thing I wanna write in this file is the graph summary of the session, right? So I'm gonna put this as dot graph here. So let's run this program. Okay, it went perfect, right? So uh, TensorFlow has created a file in temporary folder in the addition tutorial folder with all the required. Okay, now let's open the command terminal. Before you go ahead and uh, run any kind of commands here, um, I would say make sure that you open the command terminal with the TensorFlow environment. Um, to get the TensorFlow environment, how to create and how to activate the TensorFlow environment, you can uh, look at my previous video and also uh, available link uh, in the description. So to activate the environment, virtual environment, you use this command. This for Mac. If you are using a Windows machine, then you can just use activate in your environment name, right? And in my case, my environment name is TensorFlow. Like it's the same as the library name I just put, right? So um, yeah, in the Mac or Linux, you need to use source activate tensorflow right so here you can see now we are in tensorflow environment right so you can use any kind of uh, 
TensorFlow related keywords just to uh, invoke the TensorFlow like or TensorBoard, right? So I'm going to use a uh, TensorBoard keyword just to open a TensorBoard with the log directory. And uh, I have a log directory here is uh, temporary folder addition tutorial, right? So this is going to be the log directory, right? So uh, let's press the enter execute this command okay so now your tensorboard has started on the given address this is the address for your tensorboard right so let's copy this address let's copy that address and uh, paste it here this then go right okay so here you can see there is no scalar values in our system so let's let's click on the graph okay okay you can see this here you have a graphical representation of the operations just we did right so let me go back again we define x as a placeholder flow 32 data type and I will name it the X, right? So let's open this. Let's click on the X. Okay, you can see here, uh, it's a placeholder with the data data type of float, right? Again, Y with the data type of float 32, and its uh, name is Y, right? And the operation node is addition, right? We name it addition. So here you can see it's addition uh, node where our inputs are x and y and our attribute is float32 so our operation is also a float right so here you can see it's addition right um, you can also put a complex operation here by just adding something new like uh, adding one more variable or like just multiplying two variables or okay uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, Please subscribe this channel for more interesting videos about machine learning and uh, data science and TensorFlow. Right? Thank you for watching. My name is Kuldeep.